right there. I'm going to walk through uh, how I tie uh, my standard truss for pike fishing. For this, I'm going to be using AFW 40 pound, 45 pound lead leader, owner trebles, tresses. I use all the same stuff. I use AFW wire because I trust it. I use owner trebles because I trust them. And I'm using ball bearing swivels. I can't remember the name of them. Uh, I think they're Savage Gear. I'm not sure, but don't quote me. I know I've got a packet of about 100 of them. They are rated to 100 pound test. So uh, I like ball bearing swivels, by the way. I like them because when the pike twists, the swivel actually moves. You'll find cheap swivels don't move. So use good quality swivels. Start off, you cut. 27 inches of wire. You'll need 27 inches because by the time you've finished, your truss is going to be about 18 to 24 inches long. All my pipe trusses are 24 inches as a maximum and 18 inches as a minimum. The reason that they're over 18 inches is the diameter around a pike's head of about 30 pounds is about 18 inches. That's quite big. If you're using a truss that's under 18 inches and a pike sucks it to the back of its throat, guess what, sunshine? You're getting bit off and you're leaving tresses in a pike and the pike's dead. So let's not do that, shall we? Start off, you take your treble, you thread the wire through the treble. Bend the wire back, try not to stick yourself with the treble so that you have a little tag end like that of about an inch. You take the tag end, you fold it around the main body of the truss like that. I'm not sure how much this is picking up, but you then take the tag end and push it back through the eye of the swivel. So, and then you push it, you're going to have it looking like that there, and you're going to be pushing the tag end back through the little loop of wire, which is a bit fiddly, but you'll get there eventually with practice. So you end up roughly with that. That's the basis of a choke knot. This will pull tight and choke on itself, hence the name. You then thread on your crimp. I get these crimps from Eddie Turner. Uh, I quite like Eddie Turner's gear. I throw a link into the description of this thing. But uh, Eddie Turner has a, a lot of this, and it's good stuff. So I would go and give Eddie Turner a shout if you want little bits and pieces for your wire, for your crimps, for your trusses. And he's a gentleman. If you ask him questions, he'll come back with you and you answer them. The man's actually a pike fishing expert, like so. It's always good to have uh, someone like that on hand that you can ask questions or run ideas past. Just tighten up the tag end, slide down your crimp, so that your crimp is just sitting a little bit above your choke knot. See? A little bit above. You then take your crimp pliers and your crimp and down. There you go, that's it. Now this will not slip because it's choking itself out, it won't slip. This tag end here, I just push that back. You'll see there's a little gutter on the inside of the crimp. I just push the tag end back on itself 
and you'll see what happens now when I do that. I'm just going to trim off a little bit of it because it's a bit long. So just bear with me here. Then you get one of your little rubber crimp sleeve things, silicone sleeves. These are great because you can recycle them. And you push them over the crimp and push it down. Again, carefully. You don't want to have to go to A and E to get hooks took out of you. And there you go. That treble is now secured to your trace. That's not going anywhere. Now, this is attaching the second treble. There's a couple of different ways of doing it. Here is how I prefer to do it. Take treble, take wire. Slide it on. Again, careful not to stick yourself with the damn treble. Set them the distance that you want them apart. On this occasion, I'm going for about five, five and a half inches. So that you have the, you're holding the treble and you've got the other treble dangling below it. Pinch it in your thumb, nice and easy. And you're going to fold the wire back and start winding the wire back up the body of the treble. Carp anglers call this a knotless knot. You want to do it six times and then you just pull this loose through it. And there you go. The second treble is now fixed. It's not going to move anywhere. And the beautiful thing about this knot is the more the pike pulls, the tighter this knot gets. So the pike is going to pull and pull and pull and the knot's not going to move, slip or do anything with you. You'll see that there's people selling sliding trusses with the hooks that slide. Avoid those, bend those because they're shit. Then you take your little, these are Grace Prowler, I don't think you can get these anymore, they don't make them. But these are little Grace Prowler silicone sleeves. And you slide it on the wire. Fuck that one's away. I'll get another one here. The good thing about these is when you're finished with the truss lads, you can cut these off and reuse these, unless they're properly battered. So you get quite a lot of use out of them. I used to use silicone uh, tubing, but these are more durable and they're made for the job. And I also used to use shrink tubing, which uh, was a pain in the backside, if I'm honest, but there you go. And there you have it. The two trebles are locked in place. They're not going to move. Isn't that just nice? You then take your, this is a black, silicone sleeve and this is going to get pushed onto the end of it. Now you're pushing this onto the end so that the fat end, the fat end, is going to be the last thing that you see. There you go. Slide that down the road. Now take your crimp, slide your crimp on and you're going to take your ball bearing swivel and you're going to repeat the same process you did with the bottom treble. So I should really be wearing my glasses. So you start off folding the wire around the, the eye of the swivel. Then you wrap it around the body of the trace, like so. Then you're going back through the swivel. And then Dave, right. So you're gonna end up with it looking like that, lads. Now you go back through this little loop here. I'll show you. Like I said before, it can be a bit fiddly, but once you get the hang of it, it's okay. Let's 
Deixa eu tirar daí alguns negócios. Just using my crimping pliers to grab the tiger and the pull it through because I'm blind. And then you pull it tight. So you have a knot. Like that. Oh, that's just focusing. Then you slide the rubber and the crimp back down. Don't want crimp to get open. And you give it a crimp squeeze with your crimping tool. You fold the tag end back into the crimp. That's what it looks like, lads. Then you slide your rubber up over it, up over the first eye, and just so it's there. So that the end of your truss looks like that. The little sleeves cover up the, the tag end of the wire. It stops the braid getting shredded from it. Keeps it neat, keeps it tidy. And there you have it, the finished tress. And wouldn't you look at that? The tress itself, 24 inches on the nail. Am I good or am I good? There you go. And that's your standard 24 inch pike fishing truss. Good luck to you all.